Ladies and gentlemen, city to city, <coughs> nation to nation. Look at that right there. That man is Will I Am. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Nice. What well, up, Hollywood? How you, how you doing, baby? Chilling, Hollywood. You are looking good. You too. You working out and shit? I'm up a little bit since uh -oh. the last time you seen me. Sorry, that's okay. Well, that's what the bleep machine is for. Sorry. I'm. Uh, where is the Lego hat? <laughs> oh, my Lego hat's over there with all my other Lego stuff. It's at the house. That I love that. <laughs> that that hat that you wore at the AMAs, Will, got a lot of attention. Yeah, my Lego. I got Lego watch. I got Lego bling. Now, what, what did you put that? Did you go to Target and just buy the kit, and you just, or did you have somebody do that for you, or how did that um, happen? B, B, uh, our stylist B, um, she hooked the hat up. Right. Her and Rennie, and um, so the, and then I and then I made my watch and my little Lego bling. Yeah, I see. And then the, the, the little thing down here. Yeah. I see that around. My Lego bling. So I made that. I was inspired by their hat they did. I caught you in Newark, New Jersey, and over you know, sensory overload. Absolutely amazing. Just really quickly, I don't want to go too much in the past, but a lot of people across the country are listening right now that have obviously caught your tour, and it was just so much, and it was so spectacular and so sick. Put it yeah, together on paper. So Fergie said, we should, we should amp up our show. I'm like, what? What's wrong with the show? What's wrong with how it is right now? It's fresh. She was like, <laughs> no, maybe we should put, you know, we should take it to the next level. I was like, what do you mean next level? Like, what, jump around more? Like, what? She's like, no, we should, like, you know, have a bigger production. Right, right, right. So I was like, uh, that's going to cost money. <laughs> so. And it looked expensive. She, she was a lead, you know, she, she helped us, you know, get, get inspired to even. Right. You know, consider doing that. And then uh, we got this guy named Bruce. What's his last name, Paulo? Rogers. Bruce Rogers is the dude. He did the inauguration stage. He did uh, the the D Democratic National, National Convention stage. Right. He did two so, Super Bowl stages. So we got we got with dude, and we designed our our, our arena show. And uh, and now we've graduated from arena, and we we've tested out our stadium tour in South America. Right. And that's even poof. All right, the time of my life, Dirty Bit, which is racing up the countdown now on all three of my countdowns across America right now. This thing is just, uh, you got me walking around town, dude, going, Dirty Bit. <laughs> dirty Bit. Bro, is that a terrible, is that a, <laughs> Dirty Bit. No, dirty Bit. Uh, and, and it's, it's such a, a con contagious <laughs> song. It's so contagious. Yeah. Um, just that beat, the Dirty Bit part, that right. Dirty Bit. Right. Uh, that beat is nuts. Can you do that one more time real quick? Okay, I'm going to sample that, and I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to make a song out of Dirty Bit. I love that beat. Amazing. So the Dirty Bit, like, it's like, remember Atari? Sure, sure. It's like Atari, Atari music. A bit. So it is what I thought it was. Yeah. A bit. Dirty bit. Yeah, the beginning. Uh, all right, here we go. Will I Am is up in the studio right now across America with Hollywood Hamilton. Of course, here we go. Time of my life. Dirty bit. Man, when are you going to take us out of this chokehold you got America on right now? You got us on a chokehold. It's hit, hit after hit. No, it's like you were just trying to, you know, bring America up to speed to... to you know, what we do internationally. I want to thank you for stopping down the uh, Weekend Remix Top 30 Countdown. Oh, thank you so uh, much. You, 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 you and I go back many, many years. You, As a kid, when you were in high school, you and Taboo uh, and Fergie yeah. used to listen to me on KISS FM. And you, these guys used to call and make requests <laughs> and Not actually that, rhyme, rhyme on, on, the air. on the air. Yeah. You tried, and Taboo <laughs> actually got in, involved with a contest, and he yeah. almost got himself a record contract. Yeah. He was dancing for this kid. Lil E. Lil E, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Our manager to this day is, is uh, that's how I met Polo, yeah. our manager. Um, Through Lil I, E? Yeah, he used to manage Lil E, and I used to, I rapped against Lil E and be, whooped his whoop, whooped his butt pretty bad on stage, and Polo got mad, was like, oh, try to beat me up. I'm like, yo, it's a battle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to that little kid? That's a little white kid. Like, like, Whatever happened to him? He, he works, he's a, he does like set building for movies. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Did you ever think, listening to the radio must have played such a big, big influence in your life back then, listening to KISS FM in L.A.? and Listening to KISS FM in L.A.? I remember when KISS FM, when, uh, when KISS FM <coughs> became the station that the youth listened to. Right. Because for a while, like, you know, there's the other radio stations, I don't want to say no names, 
And then Kiss FM took a a deli- it was like deliberate to play hip hop right. and and um, youth music, right. um, and that's all we listened to. Be- it was that radio station. It was your it was your show. Yeah, that kind of like I remember it. We brought that uh, rhyme fighting competition. It took I. T- yeah, it took me uh, so long to convince programming to do some sort of rhyme fighting on on pop radio, and they couldn't <laughs> understand why do you want to do it. And it was the biggest segment. I would call up. I'm, I was in the projects in East LA. I would call up on the phone, wait for like hours, <laughs> trying to get through. Like oh, I couldn't get through today. Call call up again. Put it in. Yo, what's up? Is Will Chill? I want to I want to battle today. That's my name, Will Chill. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. I remember <laughs> this guy. And Fergie used to call too. Fergie used to call all the time as well. Yeah, when Fergie's mom kids. still calls the radio for us. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fergie's mom. She's the best. <laughs> what would you like to say across America? Uh, new fans, old fans, something a little something special. In fact, all over the world. Yo, go check out the new record, The Beginning. It's packed with jammies. Um, look, look out for our tour that starts next year. Uh, we're going to announce our tour after we play the Super Bowl. Um, Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you, old fans, for getting us to this level. Thank you, new fans, for keeping us at this level and beyond. And get up there and cop that uh, beginning, because again, just you know, hit after hit, smash after smash. It, every joint on that thing is just killer. Yeah, thank you so much. And if the old fans don't like the new stuff, <laughs> go out get a copy of the old stuff. And the new fans. <laughs> Why are you getting that a little bit now? <laughs> no, no. Because you're joking. going deep, deep electro. You're going uh, deep electro now. You, you yeah, got, it's fresh. You know, you're, I, you're, it's exci- you're on I'm the excited. Forefront. Well, you are on the forefront. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's like I feel like I'm 17 again. You know, music is exciting. You know, it, it's brave to, especially Dirty Bit, it's brave to to have, of course, you know, time of my life. People always say, like, yeah. you took time of my life. Why would you do that? I have not gotten that one time on the request line. Not no, once. I get that. But what they don't realize is that the beat yeah. is real progressive to be bringing that type of beat to Top 40 Radio. Yeah. Make that... Yeah. That, wasn't, that wasn't supposed to get here until five years from now, right? Because everything is, mm. you know... I got a feeling that kind of beat, I was hearing that in the clubs two years before. Well, you are one of just a uh, five, maybe three people in, in the country that helped bring dance back to America. Look at Afrojack just got added, and things of this this, this progressive electro. Oh, oh the uh, the uh, um, uh, take take, take over take control. over control. Yeah, yeah that and that's fresh. all because you guys have paved the way for dance and electro in this country, and we certainly thank you. Oh, Let's thank give it up you. for Will I Am. Come on, everybody. Woo!